Now we start with question number 11. It says that a sample of hard water contains 305 ppm of this bicarbonate ion. Bicarbonate ion is acidic, it will be H plus and CO3 minus. It means that if it is 305 ppm, it simply means that 10 to 6 gram of water has 5 gram of bicarbonate now we can easily find out how many moles it is or it is 305 and bicarbonate 48, 50, 51 this many moles of SCO3 here therefore 1000 gram that is 1 kg of water will have 305 upon 51 to 10 days minus 3 mole of bicarbonate ion. If you see, bicarbonate ion is acidic, one bicarbonate ion measures 1 S plus. Therefore, we will have this much of this more many moles of H plus from bicarbonate. Now, the question says that. It has to be neutralized by calcium oxide. If you see, calcium oxide when dissolved in water, it produces calcium hydroxide. Or you can say that one mole of calcium oxide will produce two mole of hydroxide. Therefore, in order to neutralize this many mole of bicarbonate you need half mole of calcium oxide because every calcium oxide contains this so can we say moles of calcium oxide required half the moles of bicarbonate because bicarbonate produces 1H plus while calcium hydroxide produces 2H plus half 305 upon 51 this moles now if you have to find the mass of calcium oxide multiply this by molecular mass of calcium oxide which is 56 when you calculate this comes out to be 168 into 10 days minus 3 gram therefore you can say this 168 milligram. Correct answer is C for this. Next is question number 12. Question number 12 is uh, how many gram of copper nitrate? Required to get this 31 point this. If you see one mole gives one mole of copper, one mole of copper has 63.5 gram and when you calculate one mole of copper nitrate, its mass is 187.5 gram. Now it's very simple. In order to have 63.5 gram, you need to have this gram. If you take half of this, the data is that it is half of 31.7 gram. You have to take half of this, it is 93.7 gram. Simply, neutral method can be used to find this. If for 63.5 gram of copper, you need 187.5 gram. If you take half of copper, you have to take half of copper nitrate, 93.7 gram, and answer is B. Next, question number 13. Question number 13. Calculate molarity of this weight by volume. It is 90% weight by volume. If you write 93 by 100, it means that you have 93 gram in 100 milliliter of Solson simply means that now 
one liter solution you have to take. If you take one liter, it means that mass of H2SO4 is 930 gram. If you take 100 milliliter, 93 gram is H2SO4. If you take 1000 milliliter, it will be 930 gram. Now, what is the mass of solution? Mass of solution, which is basically mass of H2O plus mass of H2O4. It is simply density into volume. Density is 1.86 into 1000 because 1 liter. Now, very simple. What is mass of solvent? See here, mass of solution is 1860 gram. Mass of H2O4, it is solute is 930. So subtract mass of solution minus mass of solute, it is 930 gram or 930 by 1000 kg. Now, molality, moles of solute. 930 upon 98 pound per mass of H2O4 when you calculate it is 98 gram per mole and mass of solvent is again 90 1000 it is 1000 by 98 which comes out to be 10.2 m which is B of sum next is question number 14 Question number 14 is Density of certain gases oxide We have Gaseous oxide In one hand And we have Oxygen, dioxygen O2 on the other hand Density is given Density of this is suppose x Its density is also x its pressure is 1.5 bar its pressure is 4.5 bar its temperature is 20 degree centigrade 293 kelvin its temperature is 10 degree centigrade that is 283 kelvin now calculate the molar mass of gases oxide see what we can do we can use another form of PV equal to NRT that is PV equal to NRT N is number of mole what you can write PV equal to given mass upon molecular mass RT where X is given mass of gas and M is molecular mass of gas now if you do X by V RT the formula become PM equal to DRT. This is another form of same equation PV NRT which we use when we have to use density. Now let us use this formula PM equal to DRT by density. For this side, pressure 1.5, molecular mass we have to find out density X R temperature 290. For this side P 4.5 molecular mass oxygen 32 D X R temperature 283. This is 1, this is 2, divide 1 by 2, 1.5 M, 4.5 into 32. XRT, XR into 293, XR into 283, it's cancelled. <coughs> now M is 96 into 293 upon 283. When you calculate, you find this value is 99.63. Which is C of C. Next 
Question number 15. Question number 15 is density of 4m Na2S4 has density equal to 1.2 gram per milliliter. You have to find out molality. Now, if density is known, what is mass of solution? Take volume as 1 liter that is 1000 milliliter mass is density into volume 1.2 into 1000 1200 gram is the mass of solution where 4m means 4 mole in 1 liter 4 into its molecular mass is 158 which is 632 gram now very simple. See here, we have one liter of solution, molarity is 4m, 4 mole or 632 gram in one liter, and the mass of solution is 1200 gram. Therefore, if 1200 gram is the mass of solution, what is mass of solvent? It's 1200 minus mass of this 632, it is 568 gram or 568 by 1000 kg. Now molality, you have to find out molality of Na plus when it will be moles of Na plus upon mass of solvent that should be kg. Now if you take 4 mole, you will have 4 into 2 mole because Every mole of sodium sulfate will give twice the mole of sodium and mass is 568 upon 1000. When you solve it, you get value 14.08. B is the correct option. Next, we have question number 16. Sodium peroxide dissolved in water. When it is dissolved in water, it becomes NaOH. It means that one mole, its mass is, one mole has mass 62 gram, will produce 2 mole of NaOH. Now, it is given, it is 31 gram. If you take 31 gram, you will have 1 mole of NaOH. It means that we are producing 1 mole of NaOH by dissolving 31 gram of sodium oxide. Now, we have to find out the volume of H2S4. 1 mole, the so number of gram equivalent of NaOH is 1 into 1, 1 gram equivalent, that's equal to number of gram equivalent of H2SO4 and number of gram equivalent is normality into volume retail me if molarity is given when you have to write molarity into n factor into volume because normality can be found by multiplying normal molarity with n factor 1 molarity is 0.5 and factor is 2 V. V is 1 liter that is 1000 milliliter. Therefore, correct answer is C. Question number 17. You have two flasks of equal volume. Connected by the other uh, one, one mole initially. Therefore, if one mole of oxygen is initially present, half will be present here, 0.5 mole, and half will be present here, 0.5 mole. Volume of both the sides is same. V, V, pressure of both the sides will be same. 
Pp. Initially temperature is 127 degree centigrade that is uh, 400 Kelvin. Now temperature of this site is increased. Now if the temperature is increased what will happen? Temperature increased to 227 that is 500 Kelvin. Gas will transfer from right side to left side because if this compartment temperature is high, so gas will move from right to left side. But keep in mind the final pressure of both the compartment will same because the gas will keep on moving till the pressure in both the compartment are equal. It means that in this compartment we have slightly less mole x. In this compartment we have slightly more mole. This is. Now we we'll apply PV and RT for both the side. PV equal to NRT for left side. Pressure is P, volume is V, number of mole has changed. R, temperature 400. Similarly, we can apply PV equal to NRT for right side. P and V are same. Number of mole is R, 500. This is second, this is first. If we divide first by second, PV equal to 0.5 plus x uh, 400 on PV 0.5 minus x R uh, 500. Now you find that you have the value of x edge. x is 5.5 by 9 x is 0.5 by 9 now just find out the ratio here plus x minus x 0.5 plus 0.5 by 9 0.5 minus 0.5 by 9 it is 10 by 9 upon 8 by 9 10 by 8 that is 5 by 4 correct option is A question number 18 question number 18 you have Na2 HPO4 if you decompose, you will find that you have this side H P O four minus two. This can release one H plus. It means that when it behaves an acid, its equivalent weight will be molecular weight. However, it can gain two H plus to become S three P O four again. So when it behaves like that its equivalent weight will be molecular weight by 2. Therefore, both first A and B both are correct. Therefore, C is correct answer. Question number 19. Question number 19. 250 milliliter of container containing helium. We have 250 milliliter helium. While in other container, the pressure is here 100 millimeter of Hg. Similarly, second side we have helium. Uh, second side we have nitrogen. The volume is 150 milliliter and the pressure is 200 millimeter of Hg. When you connect these two, what will happen? Uh, number of mole will remain conserved. Let us say N1 is number of mole here, N2 is number of mole here, and N initial is equal to N final. Number of mole remain conserved. Initial number of mole is N1 plus N2. Now, how to find number of mole? PV 
अपॉन आर टी इन हीलियम प्लस पीवी अपॉन आर टी इन नाइट्रोजन वेन यू कनेक्ट दिस टू वॉट एप द फाइनल प्रेशर लेट से बिकम्स पी फाइनल and what is final value it is v1 plus v2 that is 250 plus 150 that is 400 what does it mean when you connect this to container the pressure will throughout be same but the final value will be this volume plus this volume because gas can move from this compartment to this compartment temperature remains same so m final is v final f final upon rt let us put the value rt is same p of helium is 100 v is 250 plus r is 200 into 150 p final we have to find upon 400 therefore p final is 250 uh, plus 300 700 <coughs> have to check out uh, zero zero get cancelled It is 250 plus 300 upon 4. 750 by 4, which is 137.5 millimeter of Hg. And this is C option. This is correct. Next question number 20. Question number 20. One gram of calcium carbonate is strongly heated. Calcium carbonate when strongly heated converts Cl. One mole, which is hundred gram, gives one mole. Now, one gram will give certainly one by hundred mole. This is ninety percent pure. Therefore, when you heat point nine gram, it will give one by hundred into point nine or. 9 into 10 days minus 3 moles of CO2. Now, what CO2 will do? When CO2 will combine with NaOH, it will convert this into Na2CO3. If you see here, two mole will combine with one mole. If you find number of mole of any wedge, it is let us write in milli mole. It is nine milli mole of CO2. Now two mole will combine with one mole. It is nine milli mole, and number of milli mole is m into v. It is hundred into point five. It is fifty milli mole. Therefore, this is limiting reagent. It will React with 50 minus 80, this will become zero and will produce 9 milli mole of Na2CO3. Therefore, finally we have 32 milli mole of NaOH and 9 milli mole of Na2CO3. Now we know that we have Na2CO3 9 milli mole. Formed and NaOH is 32 millimole. Hopefully this is clear so far. Now, what is phenolphthalein end point? Phenolphthalein end point is the point till Na2CO3 gets converted into NaSCO3. It means that for one mole we require one mole. Very simple. For nine mole, nine milli mole, we require nine milli mole. Similarly, for NOS, very simply, we require thirty-two milli mole of SCL. Therefore, what is the amount of SCL required? Nine milli mole for any two CO three and thirty-two. Therefore, moles of SCL required. Is 32 plus 9, which is 41 millimole, and m into v when v is in millimeter will give you number of millimole. Ah, uh, small it is given. 0.5 into v, 
is 41, therefore V is 41 by 0.5 which is 82 milliliter. This is an answer and it is B answer which is correct. It means that let me summarize, it is a bit longer question. When CO2 is produced and when CO2 combined with NaOH, part of NaOH is converted to NH2CO3. It means that solution has both NaOH as well as NH2CO3. First find out what is the amount of NH2CO3 and NaOH. Then you know phenolphthalic end point is that point where Na2CO3 just converted into NaCO3. And by this concept you can find out the final value. Question number 21. Solution has 100 milliliter of 0.1 m mgOH plus 200 milliliter of 0.01 m H2SO4 plus we have 200 milliliter of 0.1 m mgs 4 It's very simple question. Simply, uh, you have to find out number of millimole of each. For this, 100 into 0.1, 10 millimole of magnesium oxide. For H2SO4, we have 200 into 0.01. This is 2 millimole. For this, you have 200 into 0.1, 20 millimole. This is neutral, it is not going to affect the acidity of acidity. Since the amount of MgOH is more, it is 10, it is 2. The final solution will be alkaline. First option is correct. Correct. Now you have to find out, second is correct. Molarity of Mg plus, very simple, where is Mg present? Mg is present here and here. What is the millimole of Mg2 plus? 10 millimole here and 20 here. 30 millimole and number of millimole is M into V. V should be milliliter. M, you have to find out V. 100 plus 200 plus 200. It is 500. Therefore, M for Mg is 30 upon 500. Therefore, it is 0 0.06 M. Correct. Therefore, third is also correct. Similarly, sulfate M. Mole idea of sulfate direct or concentration of sulfate. Many mole you have to find out. See here, sulfate is with H2S4. How many mole here? 2. Sulfate here with MgS4, how many mole? 20. What is the final volume? 500. Therefore, 22 upon 500. When you calculate, it comes out as 0, 4 m. Therefore, fourth is also correct. Therefore, correct answer is 1, 3, and 4. into 1 by B. It is Y equal to MX form where P is Y and X is V. This graph will pass through origin. P 1 by V will pass through origin. Therefore, B is the correct option. 23. 16 gram of O2 16 gram of O2, very simple, is 16 by 32 yani 0.5 mole and 32 gram of SO2 that is 32 upon 64, this is also 0.5 mole. Moles are equal, statement 1 is correct. Correct. Statement 2, equal mass of all substance contain equal moles, it's not correct. So 2 is incorrect. 
then suddenly it is not expansion. Therefore, C is correct answer. Now we have 24. Hydrogen peroxide H2O2 decomposes as H2O plus half O2. And this oxygen later combined with magnesium. I shall write the complete reaction. Magnesium plus half oxygen MgO. Now, you have to find out mass of this MgO form. If you see, one mole that is 34 gram gives half mole and half mole of oxygen come, forms one mole of MgO which is 40 gram. So, cell I directly one mole 34 gram of H2O gives half mole and this half mole gives 40 gram. So, cell it directly 34 gram of H2 gives 40 gram of MgO. 1 gram will give 40 by 34. Therefore, uh, it is 1.36 gram. 30 upon 34 into 1.36. When calculate it is 1.6 gram. Very simple. Next, question number 25, which is last question. Question number 25. First, rate of diffusion is proportional to molar mass. Wrong. Rate of diffusion and infusion both are inversely proportional to molar mass. This is correct. So, first is wrong. Helium diffuses four times faster than SO2. Let us calculate. Rate of diffusion of helium will be molecular mass. You can write like this. If you put the value, it is 64 by 4, 16, therefore 4 to 1. Therefore, certainly diffusion of rate will be 4 times this. Second is correct. Third, as we move from the, away from the origin in Boyle's law, PV, we have various isotherms. This is temperature T1, T2, T3. I cannot explain how this happens, but if you come to me, I can explain. So, T3 is greater than T2. It means that if you increase the temperature, you move away from the origin. Therefore, third is also correct. Now, B is the correct answer because second and third correct. That's fine. Now, still, if you have any doubt, you can come to me. You can call me over this number. This is my number. You can ask any doubt you have and uh, I will be very, very happy to help you out and I will be very, very happy if you could approach me to get your confirmation in ITK. Thank you.